All right, throw me a number, man. What are you thinking? Hey guys, today I'm heading up to Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's about a three hour drive for me. And I'm heading up there because a viewer reached out to me. He has a resale shop that he closed and he's got a whole bunch of stuff, video games, vintage clothing, antiques, vintage stuff. He sent me a lot of photos and there's just a huge variety of stuff and it's all the type of stuff that I buy. So I'm heading up there now. He's cool with me filming. He just didn't want to be on camera. So I'm probably going to be cropping him out a lot of the video, but I'm really excited to go see what he's got. You got a side door too, that's nice. Yeah. That's a nice trailer. Yeah, this is one I do shows with when I was doing shows. Holy cow, man. <laughs> yeah, you've got a bunch of stuff. Oh, in the back is useful. I'll just start making a pile if that's all right. Yeah, I brought my own totes, so yeah, I'll just empty these out whenever we're done. Yeah, like the little ones I don't care about. Um, not like the big stackable ones. Yeah. I'm not going to get out of this all the way, but it's not so good with that. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to focus more on my low riding. We have a, now I have a fun foot. Well, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Is that kind of more your passion? Uh, I love I love this hobby, but uh, yeah, now I'm going to go more to that. I'm gonna try to get that cooler out of there. What is it? I'm gonna try to get that Coleman cooler out oh, of there. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Hopefully I don't cause an avalanche here. Pull this out too. We'll get it out here eventually. There we go. Now let's see if I can get all that back in place for you. I'll go ahead and close up the side door. The rest is inside? Yeah, I have some in the garage, but it's, it's, uh, it's um, do you want to leave this out here? Or? Uh, if you're okay it's with it. Now, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll just make more piles and then we'll do one price for everything. Yeah, you got a lot, man. Yeah, like I said, we had two stores. Uh, you might have passed it. It was right here on State Street. It was my buddy Nathan's, and he we had booths in there pretty much. Wow. There was five of us. Then so, we closed up then. Everything up for grabs? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing less I have a list on eBay, but there's not much on there. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I pull something that yeah. that's not for sale, just tell me. I've been doing really good with hats lately. Yeah, those too. I've been buying up hats like crazy. Coke is it. That's cool. Yeah, we can also start moving stuff back here too. Out of your way. Phantom Adidas. I started doing one. <laughs> they had a sell at uh, Sam's. Yeah. I think it's like five or four foot person. It's a cool truck. Man, it just goes and goes yeah, dude back room's just ebay where i do the photos and shipping yeah um, 
Yeah, I'll definitely buy all the NES. I'll hand those to you if you just want to throw them in one of the totes. Yeah, I saw. Oh, in there too. Yeah, in there I think too. I might have pulled them out already. Did you? Yeah. And there's a uh, jumper pack on here for the '64s. Oh, okay, cool. Coins. You ever sell knives there? That's an old book knife up there. The one right there, right behind. Oh yeah. Me. Oh yeah. You have done a few knives. I buck knives so well, and the old timers they'll sell really well when I was selling on it. Buck it's workman. Really Listen, nothing. It's clean too. Yep. Yeah, you've got a ton of Walking Dead. I used to collect it. Did you? Like I said, uh, the whole basement was nothing but horror film and. Uh, I have little skeletons. There's still one hanging right there, actually. You selling the Funkos? Yeah, everything's for sale. All right, man. <laughs> like I said I'm just trying to focus on low right now. So, stag on the line. That's a cool helmet. Oh yeah, it had the shield around here somewhere. It's a little dirty, but I have the actual shield, the bubble shield. Oh, right here. Yep. That's sweet. It pop it goes to it. Yep. Just needs a little bit of love. That's old school. Yeah, that's old. If you build a bobber, you definitely want that helmet. All right, throw me a number, man. What are you thinking? I said, um, it's pretty, whatever, man. I said, you're pretty fair, so. And there's, uh, quite those NES games. Yeah, yeah, those will definitely bring there's a few hundred bucks. There, there's Mario, there's all kinds of, the manuals, so that's a plus. I'm good with doing a thousand. Okay. That's kind of what we had talked about. That's fine. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. I appreciate it, man. Oh, we do really well when we come back. I'm not going to stop buying, so just maybe not to the sixth time. Right. Yeah, I'd love to come back and look again. Yeah. I'm sure there's stuff I missed. Yeah, there. Make sure it's all there. I... Oh, okay. Bills are bad about sticking together. All right, guys, that is now the next day. When I got back from Fort Wayne last night, I was too tired to unpack everything and shoot more video, so I just left it all in the van, but I got it all pulled out now. So there was a ton of NES games um, that he had. Get some random controllers, a lot of action figures. I mean, tons and tons of action figures. A lot of Walking Dead stuff, some Lord of the Rings, good amount of Funko Pops, and some of these vinyl uh, rock candy. More Funko Pops over here. There's a Super Nintendo, a lot of vintage toys, a whole bunch of video games, some more Walking Dead stuff. Just tons of action figures or some vinyl records, wheels, some micro machines, uh, some knives, just a really good variety of stuff. And here's some swords too, actually. I paid a thousand dollars for everything and I'm really happy with what I got. Bray Lundo, it was a pleasure hanging out with you and thank you so much for the deal on everything. Hope we can do business together again sometime soon. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.